One goal of webinar ignition and of webinars is to collect leads. And if you got bounced leads because of a typo or because there's just a bogus email address, then they are not for use. And if they click on instant webinar, they can watch the webinar without you getting anything from it. We changed it. And one thing is admin email addresses, administrators or non subscriber. So user roles not working. So we need another email address like Gmail. And then it's working. Or catch or email address. Okay sure this should be existing that's a custom website and this code you see and it's the it's already above the pop-up so we got an email with the verification code and we'll enter the verification code And we are in the webinar. Okay. So the verification code is in the language of the webinar. So if the webinar is French, the verification code is um, text is also in French. Okay. What else can we do? Yeah, we have global settings. Webinar ignition settings, that's a global settings. Then we can set globally email verification on or off. If it is off, then you can enable it also via the webinar settings, extra settings, protected access, email verification. If it is general settings and it's off, it's off. Or if it is on, it's on. And if you click disable for this webinar or enable for this webinar. So I would suggest you enable it for double opt-in reasons. So yeah, not the email address not get saved or sent somewhere for email marketing when it's not confirmed. So that's for new addresses. If you have it in a members area, this email verification is not good because they're already verificated. And then if it is the second one and you wrote them already via an email, disable it. By default, it's disabled. Just for the new campaigns, do it. Okay. We're doing the translation and um, in 18 languages. And oh yeah, something else. Here's the text. Um, if you change it, it will not be translated. And if you keep, leave it empty, it will be it will use the default one, which is translated. Yeah, so we have the settings and the template. And yes, we decided not to use this big email template because the code is lost there. It's not good. So this is for here, it's okay. But for verification code, it's good to have it. And also we decided not to do the link because on a link, maybe if you are in incognito modus, if you do the link, then you open another, another browser tab. You're not going back to this tab so with the code. You just copy it and you're going back to the tab and everything is is in one tab. Yeah, thanks. Share me your ideas in the comments and also you maybe you have some feature ideas. Share them also. To be a CEO from Webinar Ignition about the new verification code.